edition of Death or Glory. Today we're sitting down with the zealot of punk rock, Mr. Jack Grisham, and owner of the notorious Orange County punk rock club, The Cuckoo's Nest, Mr. Jerry Roach. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, now? No, now what? Yeah, now you can talk. <laughs> we now have we nothing, nothing yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're going to shut up and go, okay. No, uh, never yeah. shut up. The only time you ever get Jerry and I shutting up, I, I don't, you'll never see that. Right. Uh, you never see that. Well, I'd be fortunate enough they'd like, hey, we're going to do this one time in our entire lives, and it's right now. Remember yeah. the so, time you 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 uh, took a on stage right in front of everybody, took a spray can and defaced my clouds. Yeah, I don't remember that, but somebody said that. Yeah, uh, somebody else just yeah. said that to me the other day. I don't remember. My mind, I have blank spots. So I, you started the defacing the graffiti on no, the clouds? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, somebody else did. I, and I don't remember doing that. It was kind of sweet. I do remember the one. Th it was, I love you, Grandma. I guess your grandma just died. So you just oh, put a little just, memorial. On the she did just die. That is, re yeah, that was, yeah. yeah I my couldn't get too mad. Yeah, my grandmother did just die right when that was going on. She was not. My grandma was great. I'd be going out of the house and just fucking, just not like black boots, black leather pants, armband, shaved head, just, just fucked. Going out of the house, my grandmother goes, oh, he looks so handsome in his black suit. <laughs> just, just a kid. What was the deal with the clouds? Were they there when you no, fired? No, I, actually, there's some pictures of the Ramones without the clouds. It used to be material, which was better for sound, I thought. You know, like I had burlap up there. But the fire department came and, you know, hey, this is flammable. you got to get rid of it. I said, can I just treat it? No, no. So I remember environmental graphics. You know, remember Tony Montana in Frank's office? You know, yeah. that, that, yeah. that's environmental yeah. graphics. Yeah. Well, they have clouds. Same yeah. thing. Just, just so you say, I'm going to get some clouds in just there and class up the place. Well, no. I thought mess, you know. <laughs> I, can... <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about the Cougar's Nest oh. and punk rock and well, all you, that fun stuff. I'll tell you a funny story, though. Okay, so the little type, they, you get all sorts of people down there. Sometimes you get, like, these tough guys coming down. They want to have a fight or something. Like, they think they're fucking, like, just major mistake. Like, you know, hey, let's go beat up some punks. Like, yeah, oh, yeah great right. idea, guy. <laughs> You're going to basically go into this room with 200 fucking idiots to go beat up some punks. And uh, so this one night, and they're dancing. Back then, they used to worm. Nobody really worms anymore, but but used to worm around on the floor. And that, they, didn't they used to in the much. 60s? Total parties. Like that. They it did started that. Yeah. out like that. Where Jim Trash would do that. Yeah, but they'd worm. But it's old. Well, we it's like a 60s thing. We would thing. throw them out and stuff. Yeah. In the 60s, they used to do the alligator. They'd lay down and pretend to yeah, say that kind of shit. Yeah, so the worm, right? So, so the people would go down and you know, and they'd say I'm worming in broken glass or whatever the fuck they're saying, right? So I go in the in the toilet at Jerry's place and I get him. Oh, he this, had cups. I hate this story. He had cups for cups for beer, plastic cups for beer. So I scoop this turd out of the toilet and then I just walk like I get close to the close to the crowd and everyone's dancing, going crazy, and then I just took the turd and just kind of tossed it out. Right, and so this kid slides in it and goes down because he slides on the shit. It was a pretty large turd, right? And so he slides on the shit, and when he goes down, I yell worm, worm, worm. I start yelling worm, so everybody piles on. Right? But the kids realize he's in shit. He's got shit all over him. So then they're sliding around on the floor, and everybody's in shit. So so I go to the back. I mean, I'm laughing so hard I'm gonna throw up, right? Because my stomach's like in cramps. I'm holding my cramps. Just fuck. Oh my god. Not, not and funny. I'm I'm in the bathroom <laughs> laughing my ass off. It's funny. And then all of a sudden this big dude goes, and I didn't know he was big because I I was to add my back to him. The guy goes, "What's so fucking funny, man?" I go, "Oh fuck, dude." I go, "I just fucking threw shit on the He's floor." And I turn around. And he's just got shit all over uh, him. Yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy. My, my favorite story, which we've all he's heard many times. But he was doing something wrong in the parking lot, drinking a beer or something, and the cops went to nab him. And he had went, a skirt on, and, too. And he, yeah. he had, yeah, kilt. Yeah. And he ran well, into the crowd. Well, there were no crowd, panties. And the crowd opened like the Red Sea, and, and then the cops came and it closed. <laughs> and they couldn't get through the crowd, and he got away. But my idiot, uh, uh, you know, sub 100 IQ uh, bouncer, he was dressed in a cop's outfit, looked just like a real cop. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And I stopped running when I saw him. Because I think, oh, it's Jerry's guy. Yeah, it's like, he, fuck. he nabs him and, and puts the cuffs on him. You know, and, and then can't find the key. Yeah, yeah. And then so then they go, hey, hey, uh, they got Jack behind Zubies, you know. So so I go back there and he's in handcuffs. And we hadn't really met. That, that was kind of our first conversation. <laughs> yeah. And he's, it, going, he go, he's going, let me go, Jerry. And, I, and he goes, I'll play for 100 bucks. And, I, and I'm... I don't even get to say anything. 75, 50. We'll play for 25 bucks. Let me go. 
I go, okay, 25, deal. Bucks. You're in. Because uh, it's fucked, because my dad was fucking ruthless. I go, go to the police, I, I get the fuck beat out of me. Like, my, my old man was so ruthless. I remember. So your, your old man was a cop? Well, he had done, he had worked with the cops like a long time ago, and then he was doing something with military police when he was in the military. He was 30 years in the military. Oh, it's yeah. like I got busted on a trespass. Right when I turned 18, I got arrested on a stupid trespassing. It was dumb. I had some machetes. We got some machetes, and we were going to, we jumped the fence at Disneyland at night. We were going to break in and start chopping. We were going to chop some rides up. Like just, you know, my goal was, hey, get Snow White's head or get the... Whatever, just in, and then go, oh, look what I got. I got Snow White's head, this fucking bitch. Because I'm a kid, and I don't understand that Disneyland's ran like a Stoppo crazy oh, yeah. fucking, their own police department, yeah, everything, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so, and I'm 18, and I just turned like 18. The mafia. Right, so I jumped the fence, and everyone gets caught but me. I, I'm the only one that doesn't get caught. But the trouble is, they got my car keys. So my car is there. So I go around to the front security thing at Disneyland, I go, hey, you know what, man? I think my buddies might have came in here and jumped the fence. They got my keys and they go, who are you? I go, I'm Tom. I go, Tom, and I gave some fake name, Tom something, right? I walk in and, and Todd looks right at me, or dr the old TSL drummer looks right at me and the cop goes, is that Jack? And Todd goes, yeah, that's Jack. He was in here too. <laughs> Fucking, what the fuck, Todd? So, so I get arrested and it's, it's, what, it's <laughs> trespassing. They didn't get us for vandalism because we hadn't even done anything yet. So simple trespassing, jail defense at Disneyland. I, we go to jail and, and they move me three stations for trespass. It's like, first we're in the Disneyland jail, then we're in the Anaheim jail, then we're in Fullerton jail, then we're at court the next morning. It's, it's like, and I just told my really buddy, I said, for sneaking in? For sneaking in. Oh, I said, I used to sneak in there. And, well, yeah, and it was at night, whatever the hell they're doing. So I told my buddy, I said, fuck it, just plead guilty. Plead guilty, dude. They're gonna let us go, and I don't want to call my dad anyway. You know, so just plead guilty and plead guilty. And judge goes one week county. Oh. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. It's oh, like you want to make it don't, two. Don't you know, it's like that's Disney. it. And it. Yeah, and it was a week, a week no. for doing jumping the fence at Disneyland. And, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And then we get in there. I gotta tell. You know, everyone goes, what? Hey, what Jack, what's for? up? What are you in for? I'm like, you know, and everyone's going crazy. But the bottom line is, I don't say nothing. And I don't say nothing, it's three days later, because we ended up doing a week. They took two days off, so five days, you know, doing. Three days later, I get a visitor, it's my dad, oh, no. you know, and I see him, he goes, why didn't you just call me? I would have got you out and we could have squared it up at home. Fuck that. So, <laughs> what year did Coo Business start? What year did you open? I think it was uh, 76. 76. Summer of 76. And then the first punk show was 77, it was uh, a group of. Uh, benefit for the mask, uh, which I was just curious, so I thought I'd do a show, you know, and Brendan came down, and he brought four bands, uh, the Controllers, Alice Bag, the Skulls, I think, and uh, some other saxophone player, and that was the first show. So let's picture a guy 40 years old going to show us in 81, 32 years ago, that's 72 fucking years old right now, going to shows. But 40 year olds didn't go to punk. Sometimes they did. A lot of those guys were older, and this guy that I met in Denver did, because there's some fucking guy in a walker at our <laughs> show in Denver, right? And I'm like, and he's like this old man. He goes, yeah, I saw you guys when you rolled through in 81. <laughs> I go, what are you going to do, pop the fucking tennis balls off that walker and get loose in the pit, bitch? <laughs> yeah, how? Get the glory.